What is going on, guys? 713 here. Today, we will be discussing the final potential 53-man roster prediction for the Houston Texans. These 53 men are going to be going into week one against the Indianapolis Colts. I cannot tell you how excited I am for this season. This is the start of the rebuild for the Houston Texans. I know that Nick Casario is not calling that, but to me, it does feel like it. So let's go ahead and start with the quarterback position. I do think the Houston Texans are going to end up running with two. Davis Mills is your obvious starter, second-year guy. He has a lot to prove. Is he the franchise QB? He needs to answer that in 17 games. He needs to improve and show that he can potentially lead this team to Ws, get us into the playoffs, and potentially, potentially fight for a trophy. Davis Mills only has one year to show that. His backup being Kyle Allen, these quarterback position. It's going to be crazy to see for the Houston Texans next year. Now, I do think the Houston Texans run with four running backs, one fullback. You know, the fullback being Andy Janovich. Your four running backs are going to be Marlon Mack, Damian Pierce, Rex Burkhead, and Dare Obongo Wale. This four, I am comfortable going into week one with. I am I'm looking forward to this downhill running football team for the Houston Texans. I do not think it's, you know, it's going to be Damian Pierce's show right off the bat. Marlon Mack is showing that he is healthy. He was returning kicks, something that he wasn't doing uh, with the Indianapolis Colts. You also add in Rex Burkhead, the veteran guy who had a good 151-yard game last year against the Chargers. And then you have Dare Abungawale, special teams guy, hopefully gets his chance out there. All of these running backs I am excited for, but we all know who's coming, Ricky Damian Pierce, hopefully towards the end of the season. Maybe we have a good one-two punch between Marlon Mack and Damian Pierce. Now, the tight end position, I am looking forward to Brevin Jordan growing into year two and just showing that this is his show. He needs to get better on the blocking side of things. Farrell Brown, Anthony O'Clair, and rookie Tegan Quittoriano, that is what they specialize in. Brevin Jordan needs to work on that. However, we do know that new offensive coordinator Pep Hamilton runs the two tight end system. Um, it's just going to intimacy who and where is used. Now, the wide receiver core for the Houston Texans is very, very underrated. Not a lot of people give it credit for, and it starts with the most underrated wide receiver in the NFL, Brandon Cooks, coming off two straight 1,000-yard seasons. Nico Collins, he is your guy on the opposite side, expecting a big year from him and Davis Mills. All three OTAs, we have been hearing good things about this pair. There was an eight-second video where um, Davis must threw a back shoulder touchdown to Nico Collins in the end zone. Your third guy, John Menchie out of Alabama. I expect to see him more towards week four or five of the season coming off his ACL. And then your three veterans, all guys who were here last year, Philip Dorsett, Chris Conley, Chris Moore. Each and every single one of these guys made plays. The two Chris's scored touchdowns for the Houston Texans during the Patriots game. And Philip Dorsett just made plays whenever his number was called. I am excited to see this wide receiving core move forward. Now, the offensive line is going to be key for the Houston Texans. It is the foundation for the offense. This is led by new uh, offensive line coach George Warhop, who specializes in running the game. You, uh, you, your nine old linemen are Lermy Tunsil, Titus Howard, Justin Britt, AJ Can. Your two rookies, Kenyon Green, Austin Deckless, Charlie Heck, Jimmy Morrissey, and Justin McCray. I don't think Max Sharpin makes the team. Hasn't really done anything since his rookie year. A huge regression. You know, that's just football. Our starting, right? We, knew how, we know who our two tackles are. It's Tunzo and Howard. Our guards are Green and AJ Can, who followed George Warhop from the Jacksonville Jaguars to Houston. And then... Justin Britt is your center. We do know that Jim and Morrissey did play a couple games last year and played well in them. This offensive line is going to be huge this year. I am excited to see the interior line. I do think the Houston Texans with the four-man group, veteran Malik Collins, who showed that he was still very good, um, was pushing people there in the backfield. A lot of tackles for loss. Didn't get the, you know, didn't get the sack totals that he was used to getting. At Dallas, looking forward to Collins getting to the uh, QB. Second-year guy, rookie Roy Lopez. Exciting to see him grow 
into this defensive tackle spot, into a permanent starter. He started all 16 games last year. We look into, you know, we are looking for improvement, be a staple point for this defensive line. Blacklock, he does have something to prove. This is year three now. We drafted him before Jonathan Taylor. We drafted him before Grant Delpit. Thomas Booker, the rookie out of Stanford, he's getting a lot of praise for being very smart, for, be, for being able to move all across the defensive line. He is going to be bring, breathing down this neck, taking some snaps away from Blacklock. It's just only going to aid into the competition. I am excited for these interior guys. Now, the edge is just straight, you know, a group that is led by the veterans. It starts with 30 year guard Jonathan Gennard, who was on pace for a double digit sack season if it wasn't for injury. The veterans, Mario Addison, Jerry Hughes, and then Obo Okoko, and then Rasheem Green. These guys, this edge group, I am excited for each and every single one of them has showed they can get to the QB. Um, Green had seven sacks last season. Mario Addison had seven sacks last season. And Jerry Hughes, the veteran from the Buffalo Bills, is here to mentor these young guys, get this defense on the right track they are here only because of lovey smith and how freely this system is for these guys the houston texans have depth on the edge they are going to get to the quarterback and it's going to be something interesting to see because we haven't really seen the houston texans get to the qb a lot you know i do remember that bulls on parade day where it was just a sack fest i am excited and interesting to see if we go back there your linebacking core i think this is one of your deepest and one of your most solid, led by Christian Kirksey, and then followed by, you know, someone who blew up and showed that he could be an asset. Come here, Gruger Hill, third, uh, second year guy, Garrett Waller, was getting some praises at OTAs. Your rookie, Christian Harris, he ran with the ones there in OTAs, you know, was using his 4-4 speed. And then Kevin Pierre-Lewis, who had a very solid season last year. I do like this linebacking core. This is where, you know, our leadership on the defense is going to come from and is going to be needed. I love this cornerback group. It is deeper than what it's been in years in the past. It starts with a guy that you take number three overall, Derek Stingley, followed by veteran Steven Nelson, who you just signed from the Philadelphia Eagles. Tavier Thomas had a fantastic year in the slot, was a top 10 slot cornerback. Desmond King, you re-sign on a two-year deal who, who came from the Titans slash Chargers, definitely showed out towards the end of the season and was someone that the Houston Texans wanted to bring back. And then in return, man, Trey Man Smith, who had a kick return touchdown against the Jacksonville Jaguars. And just to end it, I'm sorry, not to end it, the safety position is something that it's going to be interesting to see forward because there's not really a lot of talent outside of Jalen Petrie, who we took in the second round. You know, there is John Owens who flashed in one game against the Chargers and then got hurt a couple games later. Eric Murray has been here for multiple years. We do know that uh, Terrence Brooks is here also. And then MJ Stewart, who we just got from the Cleveland Browns. Not a lot of talent back there. We don't know what the Houston Texans are going to do in terms of safety. I do think your two starters, however, are Jalen Petrie and Jonathan Owens. And then finally, wrapping it up, your special team guys, Kaimi Fairbairn is your kicker. John Weeks is your, line, is your long snapper. And punter, Cameron Johnson. This is my prediction for the 53-man roster, guys. You, you let me know who you think makes the list, who doesn't. As always, go Houston Texans. You guys have a very blessed day.